Okay, uh, today we're going to talk about an extension of what we talked about yesterday. We're going to compare mitosis and meiosis. And you guys, after we talk about this, are going to try and add some to the list. But to start out class, we're all going to start by putting together a basic summary on this Venn diagram. And we'll see what kind of comparisons we can come up with between these two cell division cycles. So, first of all, let's, uh, let's start with some of the things that are similar between these two cycles. I think the, the most obvious one that we should have is that it is a way for cells to divide. I'll try and make this a little bit bigger. But that is what they both do. They both are ways of, or processes of division. And then the other thing that they both involve is they both involve the same four key words here, and they both involve prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. And while each individual phase uh, may be slightly different depending on where we're at, they both are, are similar in that prophase is where the nucleus dissolves, metaphase is where the chromatids line up at the center, anaphase is where something is pulled apart, and telophase is where you have the, the, the two new nuclei. And so th those are very similar. Now, the, the, one of the biggest differences between mitosis and meiosis is the number of divisions. So for mitosis, we have one round of divisions. And for meiosis, we have two rounds of divisions. We talked about that previously. So we'll put those there. And another difference between the two is at the end of mitosis, we create two daughter cells. So we start with one, say a, let's say a skin cell, and you end up with two identical skin cells. Whereas in meiosis, we're going to create four cells instead of two. And there are some differences in those cells also, and we'll talk about that a little more. So there's, there's a uh, difference. Another difference is that in mitosis, we create an exact copy. And in meiosis, we don't create exact copies. We create sex cells, otherwise known as gametes, sperm or egg, and they are different. And they're different in numerous ways. One of the ways that they're different is that you're going to have half the number of chromosomes. That would be another one of our differences we could put here. So if you started, if a normal, a normal cell, they're called somatic cells, if a normal somatic cell like a skin cell or a nerve cell or a muscle cell in a species like a human, let's say, has 46 chromosomes, then your cells that you get through meiosis are going to be um, half of that, so 23 in a human. And we call that a haploid cell. And I, I always think haploid half and haploid kind of sound similar, so that's how I remember that. And we use the number, or I'm sorry, the letter N to represent that. And, and just like in your math class, if there's no number before that, it just means one. So you have one of every chromosome. All right. Now in mitosis for those somatic cells you create an exact copy so just like anything else if you create an exact copy you get what you started with so in this particular case you're going to create a cell with two of every chromosome because that's what you started with and we use 2n to represent that mathematically which just basically means you have two of everything or a pair of everything and that makes sense because you get one of your chromosomes from mom and one from dad so you get one number one chromosome from mom, one number one chromosome from dad. So you have a pair of everything because we reproduce sexually. Uh, another difference, going back a little bit here, was the, the four daughter cells. Not only, not only do they have half the number of chromosomes, but each cell is going to have a different kind of chromosome because of crossing over. And that's another difference that we can put on there. crossing over occurs, and that was in the video we watched yesterday where the, the chromosomes will line up next to each other in that tetrad. And I guess that would be another thing we could add here too, is that you have a tetrad in uh, metaphase 1 that you don't have in mitosis. So uh, those are differences, and those that's really important because it creates variety. and we've talked before and we talked about it in ecology that variety is really important 
pr for preventing disease, and in, in most cases, variety among organisms is a good thing. So this is our basic Venn diagram. We're going to try now and talk and add a few more as a class, but just to start the conversation, this, these are the, the, some of the similarities and differences between mitosis and meiosis. Thank you.